What's up guys, we're back in Stuttgart. It has been an eventful year, to say the least, from Hong Kong and Australia to many weeks in France and playing challengers. And now I'm here, middle of March in Stuttgart, focusing on improving certain aspects of my game. I decided to take a break this week, not really a break. Mach doch bitte weiter, The training week to improve certain elements of my game. You will take a look in this YouTube video. I hope you enjoy it and I hope I can show you some behind the scenes and that you learn a bit more about myself. So stay tuned. After reaching the final last uh, Saturday in Lugano, I decided to focus on a training week this week. Normally, I'm a big fan of playing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back weeks and I've also done this this year already. And uh, the reason why I chose to really make a long and intense week now is also because of the information that I was able to gather from playing at the highest level. There's definitely differences from the challenger level to the ATP Tour level and I saw certain aspects in my game that I have to improve, that our team of Konstantin and me can play better, can compete better. So it was important to get a good result last week because at the end of the day the ranking is what matters the most and uh, yeah, so you have to push and play and make those results. But to make another step and to go even higher, which is our goal, which is my goal, I have to improve certain aspects and that is just not possible without uh, having these type of training weeks. Decided now this week uh, to take a break and uh, to focus on training, to really work on my footwork, work on my endurance and I've decided to work with a strength and conditioning coach I've been already working with over the winter break and uh, it's been a very intense week uh, to say the least. <laughs> Okay, mach mal kurz die Schulter. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's over. One, because it was tough, honestly. And secondly, also, because we really trained hard every day. It was high quality yeah. and I learned a lot of new things and I'm hoping to take this into the clay court swing. Right. So this week we yeah. really focused on getting my legs uh, more coordinated, stronger and also more endurance. We did a lot of uh, small exercises that are yeah not really popular and uh, they look a bit uh, yeah, unorthodox and I also yeah, didn't know this type of training before but I can really feel the difference on the court. Oftentimes right after we were doing certain sequences of exercises we moved uh, onto the tennis court after and I could already feel an improvement in the movement, taking longer strides, moving faster, even reacting better because of a wider and lower base in my, in my feet. This coach uh, really pushed me this week uh, to yeah, go to new limits. It was a bit like yeah, the type of training I had in college with early mornings and really pushing it. But with him it was also very focused on the tennis specific aspect. So we trained very hard, pushing the limits, but uh, also improving. And uh, one thing I learned this week is that even when you're struggling physically, getting tired and uh, it's getting tired in your brain and uh, making you feel like you cannot do uh, some more. That's when it really counts, when you have to try to get proper reps in and high quality reps because in, at the end of the day that's what counts uh, on the tennis courts in the close moments. So the reason why I chose this particular coach is uh, because I gotta be honest, in uh, the area of strength training, fitness training, I take a lot of pride in myself, in knowing a lot. That's why I'm yeah, also a bit stubborn working with other people because uh, I have this background and this, uh, yeah, studying this uh, aspect of the, of the training. Plus, I'm a professional tennis player, so I know very well how to combine the two aspects. And oftentimes in other coaches, I, yeah, I feel there's a bit of lack of understanding of the tennis side and how to implement the fitness training. But especially the track record of this coach has uh, convinced me to work with him and also yeah, seeing the, the quick results and feeling the, the movement after just a few sessions, it's amazing. So yeah, that's uh, credit to him and also yeah, I chose him because of his track record to be honest and, uh, and his work ethic. That's why I asked the first two, there are still 27 adaptations. 
Darf ich was trinken? Ja, zwei Minuten Pause. Wie fühlst du dich körperlich? Eigentlich aktiviert und wach. Und versuche halt ja, darauf zu achten, dass ich körperlich frisch, äh, mental stark bleibe und nicht die Müdigkeit so kommen lasse. So the first quarter of 2024 has come to an end. This also marks the end of our hardcore season, of the indoor season. The next few weeks we will go back on the clay, leading up to the French Open, the next big event on our calendar is here. We still have to make a few points, but it's looking good and we're also trying to rise even higher in the rankings. So next week we're kicking off our clay court campaign in Zadar, Croatia, then we'll go to Naples and then we're looking to get back on the ATP circuit and to do some damage there. So stay tuned guys.